can see that the equation verifies that omega 1, which is 1 plus e to the power of i pi over 6, is the root of a given equation. So we need just substitute omega 1 uh, for that and uh, show that it's true. So it becomes 1 plus e to the power of i pi over 6 minus 1 cubed is e to the power of i pi over 6 cubed. And it's just e to the power of i pi over 2, which is cosine pi over 2, which is 0 plus i sine of pi over 2, uh, which is 1. Hence, it's 0 plus i multiplied by 1, which is i as required. And the next question, we need find uh, the other two roots and plot them on a diagram and uh, you can see that roots are obtained from uh, 1 plus a cubed root of i and since it's uh, a cubed root of i there are three possible uh, values and these values are equally spaced on uh, a diagram if uh, it would be plotted and uh, there are 120 degrees be uh, between successive values which are uh, a cubed root of uh, i hence hence the next root is 1 plus e to the power of um, you know, the first root it's uh, pi over 6 it's 30 degrees hence the next is uh, 30 plus 120 it's 150 in degrees or 5 pi over 6 and uh, the third one is 1 plus e to the power of uh, 30 plus uh, 240, it's uh, 270 degrees or 9 pi over 6. And we need to uh, find out uh, which um, is uh, omega 2 and which is omega 3. And also we need to plot them on a diagram. So diagram looks like this imaginary part real part one two one one neg negative one 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 two negative one so we know that it's cosine 150 plus i sine 150 uh, hence hence we can see that uh, sine 150 it's uh, the same as the sine of 30 it's a half so imaginary part is positive it's positive hence it's uh, omega 2 and uh, point is uh, 1 plus cosine or 150 150 it's uh, a bit greater then negative 1, hence uh, x coordinate is a bit greater than 0 and y coordinate is a half. So uh, point B it's uh, somewhere here. It's point B and it's omega 2. And hence it's omega 3. It's, uh, let's check. It's uh, cosine. It's 270 plus i. Uh, to, uh, to uh, sine 270 sine is negative 1 hence imaginary part is negative so it's true and you can see that cosine is uh, 0 sine is negative 1 so this point has coordinates 1 negative 1 it's C and A is uh, this point it's uh, cosine uh, 30 plus uh, sine uh, i sine 30 so cosine 30 
uh, root 3 over 2 plus 1 it's a bit less than 2 and y coordinate is also a half so it's somewhere here it's point a corresponding to omega 1 and it's omega 3 and the next question find ac so we need distance ac in general we know coordinates of a and c and we can apply formula for example between two points or we can cal calculate distance oa oc angles also found uh, can be found uh, but uh, it looks very complicated especially um, if you notice that uh, there are only three marks and also it's a part or it's a problem uh, without calculator and um, it means that it's uh, assumed that there must be any other way which will be more simpler and another way or actually there are two ways uh, one of them is the next we can see that if we move or actually if we translate point A and point C one unit to the left distance AC remains the same but it looks like now A is here and C is here C primed C primed a C but now this distance is 1 and if we consider omega 1 minus 1 it's just e to the power of i pi over 6 which modulus it means distance from origin is also 1 and uh, pi over 6, uh, 6 it's 30 degrees hence um, angle A 1 O, uh, uh, not 1 a primed o c primed is 120 degrees a primed o c prime angle is 120 uh, degrees and hence we can apply cosine rule a c squared is equal to 1 squared plus 1 squared minus 2 times 1 times 1 times cosine 150 it's the same as 2 plus 2 cosine of 60 which is a half hence uh, ac squared is 3 hence ac is a square root of 3 and another way is the next distance ac can be found in the next way complex uh, numbers on the diagram are similar to vectors and AC it's like uh, a distance of a vector AC and its uh, distance is omega 3 minus omega 1 or omega 1 minus omega 3 it doesn't matter and we need uh, uh, modulus of uh, these uh, complex numbers so AC distance it's modulus of omega 3 minus omega 1 or omega 1 minus omega 3 and it is equal to modulus omega 3 is 1 plus e to the power of I 9 pi over 6 and actually it can be simplified it's e to 1 e to the power of i um, 3 pi over 2 oh, so it's 3, 3 pi over 2 also let's write here pi over 2 minus 1 minus e to the power i pi over 6
six, which is equal to cosine three pi over two plus i sine three pi over two minus cosine pi over six plus oh not plus uh, minus uh, i sine pi over six which is equal to uh, cosine uh, is zero here it's uh, negative one so minus i uh, it's uh, minus root three over two and it's uh, a half minus i over two hence it's uh, minus three over two oh let it be real part firstly minus root three over two minus three over two i i and how to find the modulus it's a square root of x squared plus i squared so it's root three squared plus three squared plus three over two squared which is equal to nine over four plus oh three over four plus nine over four here it's three so like three over four plus nine over four so it's root 12 over 4 which is root 3 as required it's it's uh, the correct answer and the next question consider the equation by using the Mars theorem shows that alpha is the root of this equation so we need just substitute alpha for that and, sh and show that it's true and let's consider the left hand side so it becomes 1 over 1 minus e to the power i pi over 6 minus 1 cubed is equal to definitely we need uh, a common denominator so it's 1 minus e to the power i pi over 6 uh, 1 minus 1 plus e to the power i pi over 6 and uh, cubed so it's uh, it's e to the power i pi over 2 and denominator we can see the denominator is the same and cubed e to the power i pi over 6 cubed and we can see that it's actually alpha cubed and it's sine uh, cosine cosine pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2 and multiplied by alpha cubed which is i alpha cubed as required we can see it is equal to the uh, right hand side if um, uh, z is alpha and determine the value of real part of alpha so we should consider alpha alpha is equal to 1 over 1 minus uh, cosine pi over 6 minus i sine pi over 6 and uh, to find or to say what is real part what is imaginary part it must be of the form something plus i something and hence we need to uh, get rid of uh, i in denominator and uh, we can simplify initially so it's 1 over 1 minus uh, cosine of 30 root 3 over uh, 2 minus i over 2 and we need multiply by complex conjugate uh, numerator and denominator uh, it means uh, by the same but uh, with the opposite sign here so that we get formula a squared minus b squared so it becomes 1 minus root 3 over 2 plus i over 
2 and denominator becomes uh, squared here and minus squared here and it is equal to 1 minus root 3 or oh, actually now we can uh, say that a real part real part is just this part so it's 1 minus root 3 over 2 and uh, open parenthesis and it becomes 1 minus root 3 plus 3 over 4 and uh, minus i squared negative 1 so it's plus 1 over 4 which is 1 minus root 3 over 2 and it's uh, 2 minus root 3 and we can see that if we factor out 2 in the denominator we get uh, the same expression as in numerator hence finally it's uh, a half and that's all for this question